Well, as it, I mean, you were the producer, actor, whatever else they needed you to be? Oh, man. I've been the, the web developer. I've been the social media guy. I just organized a screening down at Sarah Lawrence College. It was the second cut, so we got lots of feedback on that. I'm, I'm so excited to get to the point where we can actually have picture lock. Uh, I feel like we'll actually be able to get there in the next couple months because the feedback that we've gotten has been minor. Uh, everyone enjoys the story. The ending, I'm not going to tell you what the ending is, but everyone loves the ending, which is just killer because it's my favorite part of the film. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Um, I already asked Marty this, but how does it feel for you to film it entirely in Connecticut and, you know, like, mostly in Hartford and, you know, all over in the historic sites like the Mark Twain House and wherever else you guys went? So how does that feel to do that? And It, it was an eye-opener. Uh, as much as I've been to Hartford, it was only a few times when I was younger, during when the Hartford Whalers were in Connecticut. So that's pretty much what my Hartford experience was, just walking the streets of Hartford, talking to the people of Hartford, going into all the historic sites, like you were saying, it just gave me a completely different insight into what Hartford is. And it, I, I had no idea what the city really was, or at least what my impression of the city was. And I, by doing this, talking to the business owners, the small business owners, the nonprofits, wow, what the amount of stuff that I learned. To shoot, though, in Connecticut, Ah, uh, talk about fortune. Uh, it was just so cool. I'm driving around in my home state, shooting in the capital of my home state with people that I went to school with in my home state. I mean, come on, it was just, it was the bomb. It was awesome. Um, so what do you think it means for the ultimate film industry in your home state? That is a wonderful question. Uh, I'm very hopeful that Connecticut is now, it, well, it is the small fish in the big, big ocean right now. I'm really hoping that all of the people, for example, here at the Film Institute, not Film Institute, at the, uh, the Film Industry Mixer, and we're all getting together and we're showing all these great things that we're all doing, and I'm hoping that Rising Star is one of those things that catches on and helps bring people to Connecticut, because there's so much, you know this, there's so many places to shoot, there's so much talent in the state, and New York isn't that far away. So we're pulling people from New York because it's close and because there's so many opportunities for DPs to come up here and get shots that they wouldn't get in New York, that have to travel to other parts of the country. And this is what, an hour or two away? So I, I'm hoping that we're starting right now as the, as the little fish and that we're going to become at least a medium-sized fish in the next few years because the talent's here and we just need to get some recognition out in the industry.